So about nine years ago, I was driving home and I started praying for my attackers. Um, like really praying, like praying that people would come into their lives and love them. Pray that God would come into their lives and save them and have people share the love of Jesus with them and really prayed that they would be saved and I, I just was deeply praying this and um you might be asking why are you praying this like how just why um and I, I at the time I was studying a lot about the, the, the people that do these kind of things and then also just kind of like behind it and uh, what what I learned was that you know this doesn't just come out of the blue this pain and hurt has happened to them maybe in a different way maybe in the same way but it has happened to them and that gave me an opening um god really used that he, he just used it to touch my heart to have empathy for them and to know that they are hurt too and that that really did break my heart um i had had such anger and resentment just really like hateful thoughts towards them and this shifted my thoughts a little bit and it shifted the way that I was thinking about it and how I was feeling about it in my heart and God used that and he really was pressing me this night to pray for them and so I just I kept praying I kept praying for them I prayed that they would get healing over this I prayed that this wouldn't happen again I prayed so many prayers and as I'm praying these prayers of just having God shower them in love and really, really love on them and really find people that will love on them, something in that moment happened. There was a physical weight lifted off my shoulders that I had had been carrying for ever since it happened I had been carrying this weight this weight that I had gotten so used to that it was a normal thing to have this physical weight like on my body all the time and I was set free in that moment and I just remember crying and being like almost like like, what is this feeling? And just God was like, you're free. And I was free. And I just like, tears were streaming down my face. And I'm just saying, I am, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. And I was so involved in what was going on that I actually missed the exit that I was supposed to go to to go home and I just kept driving and I was like that's okay it's okay I'm free ended up in a car's parking lot and and I just felt like I needed to get out and I needed to praise Jesus with dancing and so I pulled over and it was close to Christmas or like close to after Christmas so there was a bunch of recycling you know a pile of Christmas trees and I just danced by these Christmas trees and I was I was so weak from all the trembling and emotions but it, it might have been a small dance but it sure was a big dance in my heart and because I was free and let me go, go back just a little bit um for this story uh just just to kind of give you a little bit of how this felt and what this freedom meant to me um, so I, I, it was pretty early in our marriage, um, me and my husband, we were sitting on the bed and I had my back to the door and we're just visiting and visiting and I, you know, look back and keep talking, keep talking, look back 
and he he stops me from talking he's like hey what are you doing and i was like well, i'm just looking to make sure nobody comes in here to kill me and that was how i lived my life i always was looking back at that door just to make sure that there was nobody there to kill me um uh, one of the attackers had threatened me and threatened that he would kill me and kill my mom and and I just needed to be waiting and so I believed him and I was just always waiting and so um let me tell you when I when I got home that day I wasn't looking at the doors anymore I haven't since. I haven't had to look back at a door anymore. Because God had freed me. And that weight was gone. And I just want to be clear even when I'm talking about praying for your enemies, praying for the attackers, praying for these people, these awful people. I don't say it because it's okay for what they did. It is not okay and never will be okay. But I'm saying it because God wants to free you. From this he wants this unforgiveness he wants to take it and he wants to deal with it in the Bible it says the guilty people will be dealt with but we have to forgive them we have to allow God to help us forgive them kind of part of this process before I got to the point of praying for them in my car there was a lot like probably for about six months I was praying Lord help me forgive these people like I, honestly in my heart I, I don't want to forgive them you ask us to forgive and you want us to forgive so you can forgive us but in my heart I, I don't know if I can forgive them and I want to separate. It is never okay what happened. But it is okay to forgive. It's different. And so I was praying. I was just praying like, Lord, touch my heart. Help me forgive them. Because I don't want to. I... I, I know that's what you're calling me to do. I know you want me to do this, but I don't want to. And I just kept praying, Lord, give me your eyes so I can see them through your eyes. And I think that that's where the empathy came from. And to be able to just make those connections and touch my heart. Um, another thing is just uh, the day that I was set free was when I was wholeheartedly, like, I, I, I actually got transformed in a way where I wanted them to be saved. I wanted them to have the well-being. And when that happened, I, I'm really sure, like, it was God. It was not me. Like, I couldn't have done that on my own. I could not have done any of that on my own. It it was God helping me forgive them. Being able to be fully free of this, this weight, this feeling, this bondage of darkness that was nothing more than a miracle to be freed from this a supernatural miracle. I had finally escaped from my attackers. Finally. 
over 20 years later. Friends, I want you to know that you can be free too. You can be free too. I really, really want to press that in. God is ready to take that unforgiveness from you. He's ready to heal your heart and mind. He's ready to lift that weight, that bondage that Satan has put on you. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. You can be free. You just have to allow God to take this. God can and will use it for his good. In Genesis 50, it says what the enemy meant for evil, he can use for good. And I know so many times and in so many of these testimonies to come, I will show you how God takes these things and makes them good. And right now, while I'm doing this video, this is one of those things where I can reach over, reach through this screen and say, God is good. And he can use what has had the bad things that have been done to you. He can use for good. And, and, and part of part of this whole process, I was able to see God and see how he can free me and see what he has freed me from. And in, in that just alone is amazing. Just the amount, the miracle that he has done for me is so intense and so extreme and so amazing. I know that it was only God that could do this to be able to be truly free and live a free life. It was Jesus's forgiveness for me that set me free. And with Jesus's supernatural power, you can be free too. Dear Lord Jesus, just please reach beyond the screen. Reach into each heart and mind who watches this. Lord, touch them. Lord, help them be able to forgive. Give them that supernatural power of forgiveness. Lord, Lord, please just touch their hearts and minds so that they can forgive too. Lord, only you know what has exactly happened to them in each individual person. You know, and you know them and love them so intimately. You know every hair on their head, Lord, and I just praise you that you know them. And Lord, if anybody doesn't know Jesus, Lord, I pray that they accept his love today. Lord, you are so good, and your blood washes away all this unforgiveness, Lord. And Lord, I just claim a bloodline around every single person that's watching right now. Lord, I pray a protection over them, over their minds and hearts as they heal, as they lean into you, Lord, as they choose to allow you to forgive, to forgive them, to have them forgive others and uh, forgive their attackers, Lord, so they can truly be free too. In Jesus' name, amen. So, this is part of the 100 Testimony Challenge. I will be talking more about some deeper stuff to come. I'm gonna have a playlist of everything. There. And um, I've been trying to do like shorts to show when I have the bigger videos up. So just kind of keep 
watching if you're interested and feel the need to share anything, I, I, I'm more than happy to meet you in the comments below.